But I think one of the big changes um, going on now is the role of new technology in spying, lying, and secrecy. Um, uh, we all go through our daily lives um, because of new information technology, leaving digital footprints about what we do. You know, on our, on our phones, we all carry around uh, uh, information. We're all beaming information at, at, at any given time about where we're going, what we're buying, who we're associating with. And on the one hand, that gives uh, uh, our intelligence agencies some vast new powers um, to keep track secretly of what our enemies are doing and also potentially what our own public, what our own citizens are doing. On the other hand, um, new technologies also um, give individuals and organizations like Edward Snowden and WikiLeaks vast new powers to expose government secrets. And so one thing that I find so exciting about this topic is that the balance between secrecy and transparency, between rules and, uh, and, and spying and lying are always in some flux. The, the, problem, the problem, the answer to these puzzles is constantly changing. The way that we will continue to reconcile or balance those two concerns, keeping us safe, preventing government abuse, uh, the way that we will continue to balance them effectively is by ensuring that we have a well-educated public.